Okay, we are moving on to question three. Okay, let's just jump in. Liam and Amy are planning their wedding. Oh, it must be nice. Amy wants a four-layer red velvet wedding cake. She must still decide between a cylindrical or a rectangular cake as shown in Annex to B. Okay, when they say that, always jump straight into the Annex to Okay, so these are the two different cakes she's looking between. As you can see, these ones are a bunch of cylinders and these ones are a bunch of rectangles, rectangular prisms. Okay, so these are the two options. So they're probably going to ask us something about volume or area or something like that. So let's just see what they want. Okay, it says use Annex B to answer the following, the questions that follow. Okay, determine the total height of the cylindrical cake in millimeters. That's important, guys. They're telling us what they want the measurement in. Okay, let's go here. I'm sorry that I'm starting on a new page. I threw away my old page by mistake. Okay, so question three. Okay. Okie doke. So we know that the height is going to be 21 plus 19 plus 17 plus 15. Oh, so this one's quite flat and those ones are quite high. Interesting. Okay, you need to add all of those together. Let's keep them all in centimeters and then convert it to millimeters at the end. Okay, so total height. Okay, it's going to be, wow, that was really ugly writing. But anyway, it's 15 plus 17 plus 19 plus 21. You can just hoi that into our calculator. Make sure you type it correctly. I'm sometimes very bad at that. So it's 72 centimeters. We have not answered the question. They asked for millimeters. We know that there are 10 millimeters in one centimeter, right? So we're going to say 72 times by 10, because we know that there's going to be more millimeters than centimeters. It's going to be 722, uh, not 22, sorry, 720 millimeters. Okay. Sometimes the thing I say, I don't align with the things that come out my, that are in my brain. It's not ideal. But anyways, okie dokes. Let's now move on to the next question. 3.1.2. Okay. Finish 3.1.1. Let's go into this one. It says, the base or the bottom layer of the cylindrical cake has a radius of 14. Determine the diameter of the base layer in centimeters. Okay, remember guys, this is so important. Our diameter always equals two of our radius. Let me show you why. Also good if I can check that you can see. Radius is just from the middle to the side. Diameter is from one side to the other side. So diameter is always going to be two radiuses. Do you see that? Okay, so our radius equals 14, so it's going to be 2 times 14, which is 28 centimeters. They did say that we could give the answer in centimeters, so that is great, or they told us to give it in centimeters, so we've done that. Make sure you label your questions correctly, and let's now move on. Okay, it now says calculate the volume in centimeters cubed, right, which makes sense. Remember, volume is always cubed of the base layer. Use the following formula. Great, they've given us a formula. Okay, so they said volume equals pi times the radius squared times height. And they've given us that pi equals 3.142. Importantly, guys, you must always use the value of pi that they give you. Okay, don't just always just use that symbol of pi in your calculator. Use what they've given you. Okay, so we know that pi equals... I don't know, my brother's outside doing the most amount of clapping for the dogs. Don't know what's going on about that. But let's just, the radius equals 14. And what is the height? Okay, let's just check. The height is 15. Okay, so I've subbed that all in. Now all we need to do is pop it into our calculator. And then we are done. 14 squared times 15. So that is, the vo that is the volume of the bottom tier or the bottom layer of this cake. Okay, so that's that done. You can put it to two decimal places. Always remember your units. If you forget your units, you will not get all your marks and you don't want to be losing marks for silly things like that. Okay, let's now go on to the next question. Sorry, my papers are just locked everywhere. Okay. 3.1.3 it says define the term perimeter. Okay, this is actually a very good question because a lot of people don't understand this. So if I give you a circle, right, 
What I mean by the perimeter is I'm saying, what is the distance? If I start walking here and I walk around the edge of this shape and get back to where I started, okay? I often tell my students that imagine a little ant and the ant walks around, walks around, walks around, walks around and returns to where he started, he or she started, okay? Very important, right? So what I want you to say here is it's the total distance, right? Total distance around a shape. Sorry, I have to go into the next line because I drew the circle here, okay? Perimeter is walking around. It's got nothing to do with anything that's inside. It's all about the outside. I'm actually gonna just use my little highlighter to show that. It's just about walking around the outside. It's like, you just literally like, okay, let me just walk around the outside. Like imagine your school field, right? It's like when you run around the field, right? You don't run in between on the field. You run just around the outside of the field. It's the perimeter of the field. Okie dokes. Let's now go to 3.1.4. Okay, it says calculate the area in centimeter squared. We expect that area is, is always to the power of two because we talk about two dimensions of the base of the pan needed to bake the top layer of the rectangular cake. Okie dokes. And they've given us a nice little formula of length times breadth. They've told us they want in centimeter squared. So that's not too bad. Let's go here. It says the top layer. So we're talking about this guy here, okay? So the top layer, our length is going to be equal 15 centimeters and our breadth is 12 centimeters. Do you see that? They've given that to us, okay? So that's literally all we have to do, right? And we just put that in our calculator and it is 180 centimeters squared. Do not forget your units, okay? So that is that question done, I think. Let's just double check. Yep, that's that done. Let's move on to 3.2. Oh, sorry. I didn't show you the answer there. Uh, there we go. Sorry. 15 times 12. Put that in. Okay. And that is us finished for this question.